everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 years. I sell mainly on eBay and Poshmark and then a little bit on Macari. And every once in a while, I'll have an Amazon or ThreadUp sell. And today I have another ThreadUp rescue shoe box. And I love these boxes. They have all done so well. This is my fifth shoe box and every single one has been excellent. So I'm going to unbox it today. I will put on each of them what I'm going to list them at and what I would actually accept. Then at the very end, I will give you a total of how much value is in this box and how much I think I will profit. And I will time myself doing everything and let you know about how much I'm working for per hour on this shoe box. And I love this because if you have a work day of maybe four hours part-time, you can easily get these listed. So I ordered these on Tuesday and the tracking said that they would arrive on Saturday. So I was so surprised today is Friday and they arrived today. So I cannot wait to unbox. This box came from Arizona and I've had two others that came from Arizona and they were great. So let's see, it is still sealed. I will open it up. And I'm so excited to see what is inside. Rescue box, 15 pairs. My last box actually had 16 pairs in it. $80, it actually came to $84.20 because it was $80 plus shipping, or maybe it was tax. Okay, oh, there's not a sticker on top. Okay, let's get right into it. The format for today's video is the exact same as the last thread up unboxing. First, I am going to put on the side current sold comp so that even if I don't know the value when I'm unboxing it, you will be able to see what the value is. Second, I will put my listing out to the side. And last, I will pop up a box in the top left hand corner that shows what I will start listing my item at and my lowest number of what I would accept. And that high number some of them I will shoot for a little bit higher and then when there's closet clear out or if I'm not seeing a lot of activity on eBay I will slowly drop that number but still leave room for offers the first one time and true they look like Birkenstocks but I think time and true might be like Target or something but excellent condition they're a mustard yellow cute and they are size let's see what size are they? Oh, they're leather. They're even leather, so that's great. And I cannot tell the size. Eight, they're, they're size eight, so that's a good size. So I think those might not go for a ton. Of course, I'll have it popped up, but my best guess is maybe $18. And these probably only cost $5 each. Ooh, these are cute and unique. They're naturalizer. Great condition. I don't see the other one right off the bat, but I'll go ahead and show you this one. A ballet style, kind of cute. So um, my gut instinct is maybe $20, $25, but we will see. I do not see the size, but I will have that popped up when I go through and edit this. And surely the other one is down there somewhere. These are made in India, very strappy. Oh my gosh, they're free people. That's awesome because I have a lot of free people. So these will complement my Poshmark closet very well. They are a size 37. They do show a little bit of wear, but, so I don't think I'll get a ton of money for them, but I think they will be, they will sell just fine. Then, um, oh, what is this? You know, I see these a lot. I don't know a lot about them. They are a dark chocolate brown. They are in pretty good condition. It looks like they are a size 10 and they say it looks like A2. So I'll look up comps and I will have information popped up about these. So far, I don't know a lot about a lot of them. Oh, Under Armour shoes, okay. These are not bad. They are pretty clean. They're very, very lightweight. Wow. Pretty blue color. I like those. I don't know if those are running shoes. They might just be like 
Let's see, they say Under Armour size 10. So I will find out more information about these. Then, okay, Maurice's heels. They're like a velvet with flowers on them. And size seven, the bottoms don't show much wear at all. So another one that just kind of might be okay. So far, there's not any big time ones in here yet. Hopefully there will be. This is the other naturalizer shoe. So nice. But you have to think about it, if they're all like $6, I mean, I would at least double my money even if there aren't any super great ones in there. These might be great. What are these? Come on. Oh, Marona. Okay, not great, but cute. Aren't those adorable? Look at that fringe, and this is the perfect season for them. Size nine and a half, super cute. I like those a lot. A little bit of nicking on the heel. Okay, so I'm thinking probably 25 for those. What are these? Okay, I don't know this brand. Hopefully it's a good one. Okay, Solidose, looks like Solidose, and quite a platform espadrille. These are really nice, expensive shoes. There were a lot of great sold comps. There was a great sell-through rate. However, the pair of shoes I received were very dirty. They had lots of stains. They didn't look like they had had a lot of wear. The bottoms of the shoes were great. They just looked like they got really dirty. So I have them listed really low and just lucky to get my money back. But I think I'm going to get some suede cleaner and work on them because I think they can be repaired. So if when I get that in, if they come clean, then I expect to be able to get a lot more money. Wedge US size seven. And so I can see those are probably pretty cute on leather upper. So kind of cute style. So I'll have to look that up. Oh, there's, look at that, a mark there. So far, <gasps> this might not be my best box, but that's okay. It's, it is a gamble when you buy these boxes. Sometimes they're great. So far, they've all been great. So I'm doing one that's not great. Um, Madewell, I've never had a pair of Madewell shoes. I have no idea how the Madewell shoes go, but yay. And they're nice, soft leather. Look, those are cute. I really love that style. Hopefully these are a good one. Size nine and a half. So, hmm, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking these are probably my best ones so far. So I like those. Then, let's see, I have had shoes like these. Cork Ease, I've heard of this. I think I have heard other resellers talk about Cork Ease. This one might be good since I remember, mm, they look my size too. Let's see, handmade sandals. Okay, let me see what size they are. I don't see a size, but they look pretty little. Oh, there it is. Size six, made in Brazil, so this one might be good. They might also be my size and they could be a keeper if they're not good. <laughs> Then the next one, what are these? Aldo, I've had some Aldo shoes that have been okay. Look how misshapen they are. When I have that happen, US size seven, when they're really misshapen like this, if you just take and put something inside of them and let them sit for a couple days, that really helps restore the shape. And then I also store them like that so that they come out nice. They have something sticky in them. So these are going to require some cleaning. So we'll see how those do. Then, ooh, what is this? Just by the look of the brand, it makes me think it's something good. Look at this. Isola. I don't know what those are, but they look kind of pretty. Leather upper size seven. So we will see. I will, that, this is why it's very good to do research because I don't know about a lot of these. Whoa, what are these? <gasps> Yay, this is a good brand, Corral. Okay, yeah, some cool looking, very fringy Western boots, Corral. Those are good. I have a feeling these could be a good seller. What size are they? The bottoms look good. I am not seeing the size it is seven and a half. Usually on Western boots, you can find it right inside. 
So yay, I have a feeling that these will be good. Okay, I'm my out of the counter space, so those are going back in. What are these? BCBG Generation. Those are pretty, patent leather with the little gold and the bow. Those are excellent condition. They don't usually get a ton of money, but maybe 20 or 25. And then the last pair, Tahari. Tahari is a pretty expensive brand, but I have not had a ton of luck on it being high resale. They're fabric. I really like that front. I would like these for myself, but they're not my size. A little bit of dirt on the bottom, or is that where it's worn off? I think that's worn off. And they're pretty shoes. I'm glad the wear is on the bottom and not the top. And let's see. I don't see the size, but I will have it popped up. And I still sell things when I don't see the size. I just measure it. It says leather sole made in China. So I never let a size not being in there keep me from listing something. I just make my best estimate, look up a size chart, and then tell them to, to refer to the measurements to make sure a proper fit. Okay, so this is probably, this is my fifth shoe box. It's probably the one that I've been the least excited about. I don't feel like there's any super home runs in it, but I bet I will at least double or triple my money still, and I am great with that. So next, I'm going to go through, I'm actually, it'll probably be a couple days because it's almost the weekend, and so I'm not going to have a chance to right now, but when I have a chance to, I will go through and clean all these, take photographs, list them, do research on them, and then I will let you know what I estimate that I will make on this box, and how long it took me. So I will insert that here. I wanted to jump on here really quickly because as I am finishing editing this video, I wanted to say that I was so disappointed with that box when I was going through it. I thought, oh, I finally got it dead, but that's part of the thread up boxes. You never know. But when I stepped back and really looked at things and researched, all of the shoes, ran comps, it's actually really good. And I think sometimes, I talked about it in my last What Sold video, sometimes I can go on an emotional reaction rather than really looking at numbers. So I've trained myself, don't just go by what I feel it is, really look at the numbers and look at the whole picture. Is it really a dud or is it okay? And this, these are my numbers. I did this one a little bit differently. My daughter, Sydney, wanted to earn some money. So I had mentioned in my last What Sold video that I am paying her to do some listings. So I thought, oh, this is perfect. I can give her these to list. But I will also share with you, based on the other thread up boxes and the time it took me, how much it would have been if I had done all of the work myself. So what I did was I went through and I cleaned two pairs of shoes with leather cleaner. And I I won't show you that again because I've done that in some of my other videos. So I just clean them with some saddle soap, then I put some leather conditioner on them, the Madewell and the Corral boots that sold already. <laughs> and then they, that just took a few minutes. And then the, all those shoes that were so sticky inside, I just cleaned them with soap and water. And so it took me, I just put on my timer. It took me from 2.49 p.m. to 4.31 p.m. to go through and clean them, photograph, edit, and send the pictures to Sydney. Then I'm also going to allow 45 minutes of shipping time because that's part of the time that it takes to sell this box from start to finish. So that is 147 minutes, which is two hours and 27 minutes. So we'll just say two and a half hours on this box. I added up everything and I listed everything for a gross amount of $490. So that's a lot more than I thought when I was taking things out of the box. I was like, just dud, dud, dud. Okay, a couple good ones. And on the prices that I said I would take on the low end, that is $349. Then if I sell it on Poshmark, which has the highest fees of 20%, that would be $69.80. Now I already sold one pair of boots, the crowd boots, so we'll say 
if the last 14 all get shipping discounts, which I'm sure they won't, but worst case scenario, if they all do, that's $34.44, more than I need to take out. That leaves me with $244.76 that I should get back in the bank. Then if I subtract my cost of goods of $84.30, that leaves me with $160.46. However, I paid Sydney $3 a listing, so I paid her $45. So I have to take that out. So my total profit for this box will be at least $115.46 divided by my time invested of two and a half hours means I'm still working at $46.18 an hour on what I thought was a dead box. I call that really good. I am extremely I happy I had that. Sydney help me and I just listed them on my own. I'm going to take the amount of time it took me from the last box, which was 3.18 hours, which I think is really reasonable. That's what it probably would have taken me very close to that divided by the profit of 160.46 because I wouldn't have paid Sydney the $45 means I would have been working at $50.45 an hour. That is more than I made at my regular job. So I am very, very happy with that. So my initial gut reaction of, oh my gosh, this is awful, was not correct. I think when you're unboxing these boxes and if you get several items that are not that worth that much or they might be dirty, it can give you just this overwhelming feeling of this is not a good box, but if you really look at the whole picture and add everything up, it's really great because when you're only paying five to six dollars per pair of shoes, you don't have to sell them for a lot to be able to double or triple your money and they don't take a lot of time. So. I am still thrilled with Thread Up Rescue Boxes. That is everything. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. When any of these shoes sell, I will be sure to have them in my weekly What Sold videos, and I'll kind of give some recaps along the way to let you know when I've sold enough to pay for the box, when I'm in the profit, how much profit I have made. So if you are not subscribed and would like to join me again, just hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. And if you have a minute to give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you all for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.